easier way to do this. Last stop for the day. They can drop off the rest. Where's my paper? I never got my paper. I'll check it out. Jimmy, your boss called. Seems you forgot some of your customers. Well, I ran out of papers. Guess I'll have to go get some more. So then Jizzy rode over to the newspaper factory and noticed it was closed. So he starts digging through recycling bins to find papers he can deliver. Perfect. Only two weeks old. I've got some old papers stuffed in for insulation. They'll work great also. Nothing like vintage papers for only a quarter. Come back here. Hey, stop now. No time. I'm done. Ready, Jizzy? Oh wait, I forgot to put out our splendidly fantastic Christmas decorations. A little to the left. Perfect. Snow skiing. This is fun. Look out, world, I'm gonna cream your wheat. My chance. No. You'll pay for this. Then Jizzy went home after he finished snow skying. Then Jizzy decided to make a snowman. It looks like you might have some competition this year for the decoration contest. No, I have better decorations. I will win. Snowman, I can't believe he melted from that tasty cigarette. As healthy as it is. Here come the judges now. Better get inside so they see my splendid leaf I put up all by myself. Why I think Mr. Pickle Beat Nose might have a chance at winning. HMMM, yes, this looks a little mundane and plain, yet definitely not a very good assemblement. Especially since that ladder has been stuck on that roof for years. And what is this with a gun drops on the train? It makes no sense. Hardly any effort at all. A complete waste of my time as a judge to see suits a lack of decorations. Wait. What's that above that door? It's the eighth wonder of the world. I declare a winner. You win the grand prize hands down. No competition. With your little wreath against all that lame store lock garbage. This is so much more my style. You win the $500 in snowmobile. Congratulations. Look, Mateg, I won. It's time I go mend some broken cans. Jizzy and Matiga decide to get a head start on this year's Christmas competition, so they decide to go all out and pick a tree that fell in a ditch and put Jizzy's lucky sock on top as the star. What do you think, Matiga? This year Mr. Pickle Beat Nose won't stand a chance against this fine ass tree. I think it's a little tall, Jizzy. If you shorten the tree, it will surely win. How about I tie the sock around the tree? That way it can still smoke its splunt and all the branches can remain on it. Just then Mr. Picklebeat Nose is trimming his branches when he notices the smoke from Jizzy's tree. <laughs> Oh, 
the hell do you think you are doing? Just because my decorations are superior to your lame Wonderland concept doesn't give you the right to chop my tree down. You're a mean neighbor and I'm gonna get you for this. No, not like that, Gizine. Your tree was on fire. What's all the racket out here? What's going on? Hey, what's he doing to our decorations? You better watch yourself, Dillion. I'm on to your and your schemes. There's no freaking way you're gonna ruin our chance at winning. Jizzy made that sock out of old socks and sheets while he chased around town. It took him all month to make the perfect decoration. You better watch out. Your tree was on fire. It's just putting it out. So Jizzy decides to have his revenge on the sock he cut by catapulting garbage into his neighbor's face, defacing his paper and etc. Hey, you damn kid, what are you freaking doing? And I just punched a tree out of its misery and its fire, and now you get bullet all these pranks on me. Do knock it off now, do knock it off. Well, I guess the tree does have character. Maybe he did a good thing. So Mr. Piglet, he knows decides to make it up to Jizzy by carrying out his doorstep with a song he always sings. Oh, and it's just Mr. Piglet, he knows. You can deal with it. Wow, that was really good. Billion, you need your own music label for sure. Well, good day to you, and what's that coming out of my chimney? <laughs> what the hell? What Thursday hell? Ooh, it looks like the demons have started living in my factory's chimney. Today is chimney sweet day. Every other Wednesday they clean the chimneys out for set. Think I would like to be a chimney sweep. I would like to be a chimney seep. Your eyes are now the new owner of this. Oh, and it's sweet, not seep. You've got to look for our ill wars. The more I walk, the less I am. The more I try, the less I be. All has to be, I have to let it be. It is you. Mr. Tink, I can't believe I can see you. A true legend. Here he is you, king of chimney sweeps. They clean some well-deserving chimneys. Jizzy's crew consisted of Orphus, Hobby, Marco, Grit Schnauzer, Banana Pepper, Scour, and Thornbush. It was so cool, Smoke. I can't wait till tomorrow, the next day. Day. Could you set this out there, please, baby? Fuck you, slut. Say, that smells good. What is it? You can't have it. It's chicken. I like chicken. Thank you, Jizzy. <coughs> yeah.
Yeah, I was wondering, that food you gave me was good. Could I have the recipe? Just throw a bunch of shit together! Yellow? Jizzy, you're special. No, you're special! Bitch, I quit! <laughs> Gonna like this jitty, I've got my famous grilled banana peelings ready for the grill with my own damn man recipe cause I've got a woody for ya! Don't look now, it's your weird neighbor, Mr. Pukelvi head. Want something? Look at me, I'm picking weeds out of my long cause it's a gesture. Ow! 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 Ben, where are you going? Ow! Let's go pick up a vacuum to shit carry a cereal up Mr. Pickle Deep Nose for his unjustly weeks. I'd like to buy a vacuum that has high power reverse for under $40 and shoots carry a cereal eye into the clouds to attack neighbors for unjustly weeks that cause ducks to get bit and fall into a flaming grill with banana skins burning. I then it sounds like you'd want this high powered vacuum for $39 that has reverse suction and increased hose capacity. I'll take it. Dan Mr. Pukelvi is gonna love this sherry cereal spread all over his lawn. He won't know what to do. Now flick the switch. Well that's gonna fertilize his yard nicely. Let's go inside to get a look at what we've done. Oh good here come some birds. That will make it even better for this prank. Shoo I say! Shoo I say! Good thing those birds are mostly down there. Good thing this ladder saved me. Wait, how did it get here? It's not mine. I've got a wedding to go to in an hour. My cousins are getting married to each other. Those nasty pigs. No, they're ducks also. How do I look? Still, what's with all the buttons? It's a sign of respect to the newly bride and groom. The more buttons you have as a guest, the better. I just eat it. <laughs> ah! They must think my buttons are to use. At least they quit bothering me. Then Dan returned home where his mother noticed him in tarnishes devoid of buttons and all beat up. What happened to you? Birds. They won't like you without buttons. If the birds are that bad we better go through the sewer pipes to get to the wedding. <laughs> Then they arrived at the wedding, where the guests whispered about the disgraceful damn plan that hid in the back so no one would notice. Just because they're poor don't mean they have to smell like that, and do you notice no buttons and newly wins will not like that one bit. What? No buttons? Will we punch you first? Then Dan's dad joined in the fight after they threw pies to blend in so they wouldn't beat him up next. Turned the vacuum as it didn't meet his expectations. This vacuum didn't meet my interest as the contract says I can return it to get a full refund. You forgot a piece. Okay, here's your money. I just forgot to pack myself a lunch of receipts and expired credit cards. 
do you equally do? What are you crazy? What are you doing with that ham guitar, Jimmy? I'm gonna throw it in the trash, since I don't know what else to do with it. Hey Dan, I'm just throwing this old instrument out. Well hell I have an instrument, let's start a band. That sounds like fun. Go get it, get it, get it now. Give it to me, give it to me right now. Stick it in the air, plus it in the air. Got nothing at all to give you, but down. just give it to us anyway, we don't care. You kids are dead, but we stand on your head. You should see the duck, gotta break your luck. Go on now, give it to me the right way. You kids are dead, but we stand on your head. You should see the duck, gotta break your luck. Go on now, give it to me the right way. Give it to us, oh yeah. Got nothing at all to give you though, but just give it to us anyway, we don't. What's that thing? How do I get one? It's my recorder. I got it in kindergarten. You must go in and get one and we can start a flute band together. You and me. Go on. The bus will pick you up at it promptly tomorrow. Just say you enrolled in there and they'll just give you one. You look a little big for this class. What's your name? Now class, who can tell me this Matthew A.C. equation? Oh, me, 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 me. Pick me. The answer is six. That is correct. Very good, Jizzy. You will do fine in our kindergarten class. The kids mostly just know their apps, but I think you may be ready for first grade. All right, now it stands time. Jizzy, I'll let you read today. The song for today's Doodle to my room. Doodle to my <laughs> then it was paint time and Jizzy painted a picture for his girlfriend Matiga. Then it was nappy wappy time and Jizzy took out his crack pipe for sleep. Then when nap time was over Jizzy would not get up. He missed story time, play time, and lunch time. Soon it was time to go and he was out cold. So they had to carry him onto the bus for the ride home. He slept while they carried him back onto his lawn where Dan heard the bus blow up and came out to see his new recorder. Well, let's see it. I've got mine all polished up for playing. You know what? The strangest thing. I went there, and instead of giving me one, they did a bunch of other mind-numbing crap. I don't even know if they did. I fell asleep after doing my drug dance and woke up here on the curb. Well, you know, what, maybe it wasn't kindergarten at all where I got the recorder. Maybe it was somewhere back in grade school, like second grade or something. Oh, well, we can still use your damn guitar anyway. Look, Matiga, I made you a painting. Come get your water, Stapley. Come on, drink up. You haven't touched her dish in all the time you've been here. Why won't he drink up? What's the matter, Jizzy? It's my pet cat, Stapley, that is. He won't eat or drink or play or make cat noises. I think he's sick. Jizzy, it's a stapler. I was gonna tell you that the guy at the pet store was just selling it as a joke, but I thought you knew that. You mean it isn't a cat at all? But what does it do then? It staples things together. You know, like papers and stuff. Ooh, that is so cool. I don't have to use tape or anything. Amazing. What till I show Dan the duck? Look, Dan, look at this technology device. It puts staples into things. Yeah, that's great, Jizzy. Let me show you this thing also shoots at teachers. I used to sit in the back of the classroom all day shooting staples and shit at my favorite teacher, Mrs. Lutwalls. So Jizzy decides to try it out on his neighbor, Mr. Picklevitnos. <laughs> But then I spent all last night devising a high-powered staple gun that shoots like an F-47 and lasts high-powered range with high-precision aim. 
Let's try it out, shoot that bird up there in the tree. <laughs> Don't say a word. The Jizzy Jutes and a neighbor's garbage. Can the Bless and a staple shopping cart doing little damage but getting the attention of a pedestrian and then Jizzy runs out of staples and then Bless go into staples and get some staples at the store. Embarrassed by the passer, I watch him angrily as Jizzy shops in his cart. Then Jizzy goes home feeling more embarrassed when I seeing the damage he's done with his stapler. Sort of wishing he'd never known the difference between a stapler and a cat. I tell you Dan, I give up on stapler games. I got looked at and had to get staples. It's a rough game. Well, I guess it's time I hang up my stapler for good. Then Jizzy sees a mouse getting cheese attacking his property and jumps on Mr. Patel. He knows his umbrella thing and fires aimlessly into the beast terrorizing his lawn. <laughs> I want to make one of those! What's that, Rutega? Jizzy, it's just a dumpster. Run! It's going to be my new parade float! Jizzy modified the dumpster so it'd drive down the street and shoot blended garbage out the side since he didn't feel like buying candy for the parade goers. Where's that dumpster going? Terry John Louise, giving his logs a tour around the area, noticed the lone dumpster rolling on down the street. Howdy, this is Terry John Louise. What are you doing riding in a dumpster? Don't you know this is not a transportation module? I was just giving my fire logs a ride around the streets when I noticed this dumpster following behind the rest of the parade floats. You better get out now. Don't you know I use this dumpster for putting my cans in shoes? That does it. Time for me to get my token stick. Thick, thick, thick. Mr. Longarms, here you do it special. Jizzy then goes off to his stoner factory to plant his magic plant. Two minutes later, three minutes ten seconds later, four minutes and fifteen seconds later. Well, that's a lot of dope for one plant. Let's celebrate. What is that? Yummy. It's sprouted up. Then Jizzy goes to celebrate with pizza. What's that flying through the sky? Then Jizzy notices the plant has grown twice as large in size. Yummy. I'm gonna scare some people. <laughs>
So Jizzy grabbed all his other plants and saved them. He tries pulling out the magic plant. He tries smoking it away. He harvests much of it, but it won't quit growing. I have it! Goodbye, plant! <laughs> what is happening to me? Then Jizzy takes it out and planted it in some old guy's garden. I better get that thing covered down or this whole factory could plug up and burst. You won't bother me anymore. New window for my Earth Day. O-W-W-W-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H-
Then the banana pepper's other child saw Dada feed him on dirt and came over to put him in his head until his driver noticed the lone cigarette eating his devoted employee and got out to fix the problem. Howdy! This is Terry John Lewis. What do you think you're doing? What is this? Don't you know I need this banana pepper to gather my garnish? That does it. I'm going to have to pull that plant out of your head with my poking stick. Then Terry John always smack the plant's face making its cigar head swish from side to side as it looked kid like when Daniel Phantom battles the ghost fungus for a time. Then Thursday morning rolled around and Banana Pepper dropped by to see Jizzy and introduce him to his other son, Cigarette Pepper. Then he went on to tell him how he likes to stick thing in his head. And since Banana Pepper had no use for him, Jizzy took him off his hands. Look, the key guy got an ash tree. What the hell, kid, the pipe? Is this in the mail? And I get nothing, I exhale instead of smoke. These hallucinogenic notes come out, I gotta stop looking for drugs in trash cans. So, Jizzy comes to the Kiga while tripping on the special plants he put in the broken garbage saxophone and sees through dope dope eyes. Then he starts playing it on the ledge of his stoner plant rooftop. <laughs> Soon Jizzy thinks he's an instrument and starts jamming with a street bobo on the street who uses trash can lids as chimes. After playing his sax on the streets, Jizzy decides to entertain his neighbor with his garbage riddled horn. Then Jizzy gets the Dharma mums of the street to start a hobo man called Cam Handles. <laughs> You what's wrong with that man? Soon the garbage man comes and picks up his man to haul them away. Jizzy fights to get them out, but the attempt ends in vain. Then Jizzy goes to his neighbor, Mr. Piclupitnos, for therapeutic advice. I see you finally got rid of that old garbage riddled horn. That was a horn and not a drug pipe. Well then, screw it. You're headed for the center. Look in front of you, Duster. Looking one speed from work. Pulling us through the filter. Looking for the rear section 75. 
Then they go hiking, and then out in the distance, Jizzy thinks he sees Mustard Beaver, the rarest of all beavers. Woo! Over here, Beaver! Hey! Ah, uh, you're not the Mustard Beaver I thought you were! Help! It starts smacking Jizzy with its tail. Then the beaver swam off with Jizzy. The big beaver uses Jizzy to build a dam. Hey, my car! And then Jizzy lit the beaver's tail on fire and steers the beaver towards his car. And then the beaver lands on the tow truck and the truck hauls the dead beaver away. Then Jizzy had one more stop to make before going home. He rescued a pit bull from the pound and tied it in Mr. Pit Levitnose's yard. I'll take that one. <laughs> Oliver Worst Chihuahua comes into the neighborhood and sees Mr. Pit Levitnose's 12 foot long Hershey's candy bar. He ordered and gulped sit down. Holy crackers, that's a big Oliver Worst. You need a kindergarten saddle. Oof. Please have mercy on my soul! Nice doggy, please! Don't eat me, mercy be. So Jizzy goes and gets a saddle to ride the dog down the street so he can enter it in the rodeo and make some extra cash. Damn kid! Where's my Hershey's bar? Well, I don't know what happened to your candy bar. I don't know, you're just gonna have to buy a new one. Not my problem. What are you doing there, Jizzine? I'm getting rid of this chair. Well, the garbage man won't take it, but I know a place just on the other side of the rail tracks. I'll help you carry it there, since it's only five blocks away. That sounds fine. Let's do it now. Oh, it's fine. You hit your dog, putting that chair on the track. You wrecked my train. Now you're going to have to haul me and my free to the next station three miles down the track manually. So they sing to pass the time. What shall we sing? I, 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 I. No, wait, never mind. I don't want to. Help me, please. please come. Yeah. 
the pills are up, yeah, I'm going to the wheel, tell me, I'm going to the wheel.